Few games, in my experience, have managed to fill me with so much simultaneous excitement, frustration, euphoria, and hatred for birds. This is the original Ninja Gaiden on the NES, a side-scrolling classic that has broken many a controller and undeniably has earned places in the hearts of hardcore platformer fans. So I vividly remember playing this for the first time, and from the opening cutscene, I knew this game was something special. And maybe that's because this was one of the first games I had played that actually had cutscenes to begin with. These simple but highly effective interludes show off some very creative art direction and surprisingly good storytelling that was unprecedented at the time of its release in 1989. And it's all a setup just to get you pumped for some seriously twitchy, ninja-licious gameplay. The controls of your character, Ryu Hayabusa, are fast and tight as you flip around, slash the weird enemies in your path, wall jump like Spider-Man on crack, and of course bust out some shurikens and ninja magic. There's a true sense of speed and ruthless efficiency as you tear through meticulously designed stages with reckless abandon and it definitely pulls off an ninjutsu vibe that's remarkable considering the limits of the technology. These gameplay mechanics are executed with such grace and precision, for me it's almost hypnotic to run through these levels that have somehow been permanently ingrained in my mind over the years. And speaking of the level design, I think it's certainly one of the shining achievements of this game that keeps it in heavy rotation in my NES. Platforms and enemies are laid out by some kind of mad genius programmer, begging the player for speedrunning through the first few levels and then punishing them with brutal death traps and enemy spawn points that are bordering on unfair. It's truly addictive. And as mad as you might get, you just can't help pressing start to continue and giving it another go. Oh, and when I say mad, I mean it. I'm usually a pretty calm and mellow guy, but seriously, I hate birds thanks to this game. If I ever see an eagle in real life, it's getting a katana up its ass. Oh, and the same goes for tiny orb-shaped hunchback mutants, giant bats, and uh, oh, ninjas with jetpacks. Oh, and I've got to mention the soundtrack. Seriously, this has some of the best game music of all time for any platform and it really matches the intensity of the gameplay perfectly. Foster's theme even has a permanent residency on my iPod. Now, obviously, I love this game, and you might know I've got a soft spot for classic 8-bit platformers, but this one is definitely in the running for one of my all-time favorite games ever. It might be too difficult for some players that aren't willing to put some extra time practicing and memorizing the stages, but I would never go so far to call this game unfair or cheap. Getting past some of the brutal end levels and finally defeating the evil Jakio is an immensely satisfying achievement that still gets me going even today.